Now to the search for a suspect in another frightening crime. This is one of the most famous places in Manhattan. Police say a 60 year old man jumped over the front desk at the Museum of Modern Art and then stabbed two workers on Saturday afternoon. They've been looking for him ever since. Eyewitness News reporter NJ Burkett live at MoMA in Midtown. NJ? Right, Sandra, he has managed to elude the long arm of the NYPD now for more than 48 hours. That despite several posts in social media and a manhunt, as you said, in and around New York City that entered its second day. Detectives fanned out across the city, canvassing rail stations like Grand Central Terminal and bus stations like Port Authority, searching the subways and the streets, but there was no trace of Gary Cabana. Cabana is 60 years old and late this afternoon was still one step ahead of the NYPD. On the run, more than 48 hours after police say he jumped the reception desk at the world famous Museum of Modern Art and attacked two clerks with a knife. The clerks survived their injuries, but Cabana escaped. Investigators say he became enraged after being denied admission to the museum on Saturday afternoon. Museum officials had revoked his membership, claiming he had been disorderly on two prior occasions. After the rampage, a man claiming to be Cabana denied the allegations in social media, but admitted to being bipolar. Bipolar is a tough road to hoe, he wrote. Dr. Jekyll to Mr. Hyde. Then you get framed and evicted from MoMA, not just the movies, all the art too, by a bitter old woman who shushes you when you laugh during a comedy. Former NYPD chief of detectives and ABC News contributor Robert Boyce. Sooner or later he's gonna, he's gonna make a mistake. Hopefully that brings him down or gets him in custody before anyone else is hurt, including himself. This afternoon, police converged on St. Francis of Assisi in Midtown Manhattan, just steps from Penn Station. The church, which opens its doors to the homeless, was searched room by room after word that the suspect might have been spotted there. But they came up empty. The museum remained closed today, and visitors were turned away. I'm really concerned about the people at the, uh, at the museum, that he doesn't come back, and that's my biggest fear. And yes, Cabana has voiced several grievances against museum management. As for the clerks, they are said to be recovering from their injuries, and the museum is expected to reopen here tomorrow.